everybody, and thank you for tuning in to the Silly Gear Sports Talk. I am Big T. And I am Skippy. Before we begin today's episode, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Because helps us be our latest take the latest sports news. <laughs> today's a big day to me. Big day. Indeed it is. Bro is graduated. Ain't that exciting? Uh, Mr. Senior Man. Yeah. It's not. It's... It's, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time, there's a lot of fear of the unknown, you know? This is true. This is but, true. yeah. I promise you it's chaotic in our house. I, I, there's, like, a war going outside. I oh, don't yeah. know what it's over, but there's something. Uh-oh. I show you that. Of course, there's the chaos, because our moms were pretty much in charge of this entire graduation thing. Oh, yeah. Chaos is real, brother. Also, you know what? Who is it real? And I have a conspiracy theory. I think Brendan doesn't exist. Oh, that I would, man. I would that agree man. Nine o'clock, and that guy. Homie that slept the in. Potato of the week. Homie slept in again. What a guy! What a guy sleeping in. But as we do not have much time today because of the graduation, why don't we just get started in a baseball? All right, so. I went to a couple Fred Nats games this week, and they've been killing it lately. Oh, yeah. Great week going 6-1 and one against the Shorebirds. Um, I actually went to a doubleheader on Tuesday because um, we – funny enough, me and Timmy went to the last time we saw the uh, Delmarva Shorebirds, and one of the games was rained out, so there was a uh, doubleheader. So it was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, current fun. records are 23 and 26. I have a good – I was at the game that got rained out. <laughs> Yeah, I have a good feeling that it can become a good a winning season if they keep doing this stuff. So that was oh, a good yeah. week. Uh, yeah, I went there on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. I left early on all three of them because I, I wanted to get home. I'm, I was tired. Dang. Then the Nats. So the Nats lost two and won one against the Dodgers, then did the same against the Phillies. Their current record is 20, 25, 34. Good on them. I now, just, the big Orioles... Oh, carry on. What were you going to say about the big Nats? No, I was, I was going to say that I don't think... I think that they'll probably just keep doing this. They're just not very good right now. Yeah, I think they'll just hang out. I think, no, they're, just, I think they're just going to be there, miss the playoffs, and that's how it's going to go. Yeah. Uh, the Orioles, on the other hand, uh, they dropped the series against the Guardians two, ga- two games to one. However, they did turn things around against the Giants, taking two of three. And then they will be facing off the Brewers this week, and then they'll have the Royals in the weekend. So they they, they got a, a nice little chunk of schedule right here. I feel like they can get things going again. Right now they stand thirty seven and twenty two, just four and a half games back of the Rays, and they're two games up on the Yankees, and they are miles ahead of everybody else for the wild card. So, keep do. Yeah, uh, Pirates wise, the Bucks began a great week, going two and one to the Giants, and then swept the Cardinals three and zero. This week they uh, helped out. This week helped out the record a lot because they are now thirty two and twenty seven. They are yeah. also first in the division. So, <laughs> I think they're slowly picking up the pieces, picking back up the pieces. But yeah, yeah, well, that's good to hear. However, we I went well. When are we getting this uh, Pirates Orioles World Series? This year, maybe. Oh yeah, I hope so. Wait, wait. This I know it's off topic. What is the Athletics record right now? Oh, let me check. Holy moly, they are twelve and (laughs) fifty. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. That is a uh, pain. Oh, 50. The Royals are 18, 42. <laughs> 30, 30, 25, 34, 25, 36. Huh. National League isn't too bad. Yeah, I, I mean... Don't, I don't know what in the world is happening over in the, over in the American League. Oh, yeah. The AL East is stacked. Yours is worse as a 30 30. Yeah. You're in the most stacked division by far. Easy. Rays, Orioles, Yankees, and Blue Jays. 
I mean, don't sleep on the National League East either because we know the Phillies are going to be good. You yeah. know the Mets are going to be good. The Braves well, are doing we, The Phillies are 28 and 32 right now. But, we, but once Bryce Harper gets back rolling, yeah. this I team is going to be good. Look at the Pirates, 32 27, and then the Brewers are right behind us, 32 with 28. So, yeah. Uh, we just, it's technically in first, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll find that out later. All right, Stanley Cup. Yeah, the uh, Golden Knights are uh, shellacking, or shellac, not slacking, but they're shellacking the uh, the Panthers. Game one, they smacked them in the pants, five to two, and then game two, they decided, you know what, last night wasn't good enough. Let's do it even more. So they won seven to two. Seven. Seven to two. Bro, we were talking about it when it was four to two. What? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is that's brutal. Yeah, that is mega brutal. Holy crap! I mean, good on the Golden Knights. Good on them. I thought I had the Panthers winning, so that doesn't bode well for me. But that's funny. Just, no. just to see Florida, at least I'm that's funny. What are your jokes this week, my boy? Yeah, the, the jokes, the jokes. All right, joke wise, uh, what do you call a fish wearing a bow tie? What? So fish decayed. <laughs> I'm so glad we added the segment. I love telling dad jokes, and sometimes he laughs. Oh that my one's classic. Goodness. That one was classic. Where do fruits go on vacation? Where? P- Paris. <laughs> pa- 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 Paris. You know what I'm saying? What did baby corn say to mama corn? What? Where's popcorn? <laughs> What's the best thing about Switzerland? What? I don't know, but their flag is a plus. <laughs> That's all I have this week. I thought it was a very good. I thought it was a very good collection. <laughs> <laughs> What's a potato's <laughs> favorite TV show? What? Star Trek. <laughs> that one's that one's stupid. I know. That's why I told her. Because I know you like stupid. I'm a big fan of stupid. Take you know what? Stupid these days are the NASCAR fans because what? I don't know what's going on here. Um, what happened? Essentially, they had a massive crab shoot. Everyone wrecked each other at the end. Grant Enfinger ended up winning the truck race. So good on him. And then you had Cole Custer. Coming out of it again as uh, more people wreck each other. And Cole Custer wins the Xfinity race. He hasn't won one of those in a while. And then the cup race was odd. It lasted way longer than it was supposed to because they they decided, you know what? Let's kill the field 17 times and let's see how, uh, how many cars can survive. Uh, Kyle Busch ended up beating Denny Hamlin to the line. As Kyle Larson was uh, on Bush's tail for that the, the last like five or six restarts, couldn't never get by him, and um, you know that whole shebang. But yeah, Bush gets his third win of the year ahead of Hamlin, Logano, Larson, Truex in fifth, Blaney in sixth, Suarez seventh, Byron eighth, McDowell ninth, and Harvick tenth. So yeah, good on McDowell getting himself another top ten right there. And uh, NASCAR will be headed off to Sonoma next weekend, where Chase Elliott will make his return. Okay. So, so, yeah. All right. Well, with that, we can jump into the potatoes. So, I think, I think Timmy will not be happy about this. Uh, Taylor Leak is going increasingly doubtful that, that former Nationals ace Steven Strasburg will ever pitch again. This is mostly due Oof. to the billion health issues, but this is incredibly disappointing. What's this? A text from the ginger. The text from the ginger? He says, I'm ready. I said, hop on the link. Bruh. The 
the gins are coming in live. Bro knows we started at 15 minutes ago, right? Oh, he will find out. He will, he will probably find out. So, in other news these days, we do have our good old potatoes. Yeah, all right. Talk about uh, Steven Strasburg might never pitch again, Timmy. Yeah, that's a shame. Well, that's I wouldn't say that Strasburg himself is the potato. What do you mean? Because well, you know, no, you know, but, the, but the news is a potato. I assure you. Yeah, I assure you. Sweet potato, we gotta put in Michael McDowell getting himself another nice top ten on the week. Yeah. Hold on. And then uh Jag off of the week, we gotta put um you know what? Never mind. I'm gonna be nice to the Fred Nats parking people. They're just doing their job. What do you mean? Oh, you say the parking price. Yes. So I just park at Wegmans and walk over. <laughs> I mean, that's just what you gotta do. It's just what you gotta do. But it is a little bit goofy. I don't have that kind of money, bro. Well, I do, but I don't want to spend that kind of money. Brendan Walsh. The ginger has survived. Brendan, I like. We are well. If if his fan can load. Why are you outside? Yeah. Yeah, we already started. So, welcome, Brendan. He's alive. Also, Brendan, you're going to need to go inside. You are... Filming with a, a brick. You are actually filming with a brick. Also, yeah, I know. That. Zero Give me a second. Percent. What? Figure it out. It, it's a thing oh, saying yeah. audio recording error. Well, it's still recording, but it says zero percent. This is funny. Wait, but we're recording right now. Why are we going through this shebang? Because it says zero percent uploaded, but it'll here we'll figure this out after. All right. All right. Well, we're sweet potato. On. All right. Brendan, is there just mm-hmm. is there any lick of uh of um what's it called rugby? They, they uh, no, like, it all ended. It all ended. Um, we'll pick we up ended year. the year with a winning record. Yeah. But 3 and 2. Good on you. Nice. So, yeah. whatever that sweet potato was on here, and boot that uh, out of the way. I'm going to finish my potato. Um, so, sweet potato of the week. The wildest game ending I've ever heard of. Just buckle up because this one's, this one's wacky. A little league team was sitting, I, I'm not sure if it was a little league, it might have been minor league, but um, was sitting in the bottom of the 5-1. and one. Rallies for five runs to stun the, the other team, 6-5. to five. Two outs in the 7th, Hornell on the opposing team who was down. Cling to a one-run league, their final batter struck out. However, the ball was ruled to be dropped by, by a Hornell catcher. But meanwhile, the, other t- the entire team was uh, celebrating while their batter was, was tagged out. I don't know what the result of this was, because it makes no sense. I guarantee John Boy will make a if the, play of this. Okay, so the catcher has to hang on to the third strike. Otherwise, it, it never usually happens, but the the base runner can... That's a way of stealing first base, kind of. Yeah. It's very rare, but when it happens, it's a big deal. Yeah. Then I also have someone did that like, on the uh, Fred Nats in their opening year. Huh? Someone stole first base on the Fred Nats when the no uh, no against the Fred Nats. They're you know that really bad losing streak when they started like zero and eighteen or something like that. I I vividly remember that. Yo, huh? Sounds that sounds about right. So like this week, the Pirates are really starting about to pick up those pieces, so I feel it is a deserved shout-out. And then, <laughs> potato, and then the rotten potato, jag off, everything, is Brendan Walsh. <laughs> this guy shows up right before we get to his least favorite segment of country music. Great. What a shame. 
Yeah, he slept in too. Brendan, you can make it up to me by doing uh hmm. Dancing impression. Ah, uh, Kermit the Frog. Do a Kermit the Frog <clears throat> impression, please. Huh. <laughs> make it up. Oh yeah, you can Kermit the Frog. Yeah. Dude, I Kermit can't do frog. it right now. Kermit, what do you mean? Do 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 I just woke up. Kermit the Frog impression on what? What is your opinion on Timmy Roll? <coughs> Timmy yeah. Rolls. What's your opinion on Timmy Roll? Ned. No, I'm joking. Hey, screw off. <laughs> poor, poor guy. Says the one who can never join the Discord calls. That's oh, we're getting personal now. Holy moly. <laughs> uh. Ben, I thought you liked out of pocket stuff, and you, and you just dip. What is what is going on? We have a podcast to record. Yeah, Timmy, you with the times, man. You mean who is staying with the times these days? Is uh, not really much movement down low. We do have um, Bailey Zimmerman's religiously jumping two spots. Uh, Jason Aldean has a new debut. Uh, try that in small town. Debut is number twenty-four. We have uh, Luke Combs. Love you anyway. Hangs tight at number fifteen. Oh no, I forgot to say uh, Zach Ryan. Something in the orange drops one spot, number twenty-five. But it's hanging tight these days. And uh, Luke Combs got two songs in a row. As I said, love you anyway at number fifteen, and Fast Car jumps seven spots to number fourteen. I really like that fast car cover, though. Yeah. I really. I I mean, I thought it was all right. Yeah, I enjoy it. Uh, Jordan Davis. Next thing you know, jumps three spots, number seven. Scotty McCreary matters to her, drops a spot, number five. Bailey Zimmerman rocking a hard place, drops number four, drops one spot. Dan and Shay's you jumps three wow. spots, number three. Wow. I don't know how these guys are still relevant. They haven't had a good song in five years. And why? Why you? That one's mid. That's uh, Hubbard, number two, hanging tight. And number one for what? The ninth or tenth week in a row? Walking wall last night. It's still it's still hanging on. Is it still on the top 100 billboard? Uh, well, the album was, and then uh, Taylor Swift's uh, Midnight's Deluxe came out, and that Midnight's beat. Deluxe? Yeah, they, they they added a few songs. It's just a marketing ploy. Oh, um, last yeah, last night's still on the uh, top 100 songs, but yeah. Karma by Taylor Swift is probably gonna overtake it. Yeah, I see that. It's Ice Spice. Uh, my coworkers are all over Ice Spice, but I am not. You thought I was feeling you? <laughs> I'm joking. I do not like Ice Spice. Why? What is Ice Spice? Is she one? Is she kind of rapper? ish? I don't know. It's She's a it's not, not my taste. She looks like Annie. <laughs> she looks like Yo. a little woman, Annie. <laughs> on that on that note, Brendan looks like Annie. Okay, he does. He does. I have a I have a a um song of the week. That I was listening to. Oh, what is it? I couldn't get it out of my head. It's Edge of 17 by Stevie Nicks. We love Stevie Nicks. But uh, me and Skippy have another song of the week. And that song would be Ginger by Rucka Rucka Ali. Amen. Amen. Gingers have no friends. <laughs> Who does God hate most? Gingers. Gingers. Who should have never been born? Gingers. Gingers. We'll we'll send you the whole song. It's it's a song. It's Brendan's theme song. It's all about why gingers are so great. Good. And why? Yeah. Why we love? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, I mean, man. with that, I I can't. We don't have much more because we. No, we skipping. Know, but... we, we, we need we need we need like a mighty honker plus album of the oh, week. Um, like that. um 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 mighty honker. Rags to Riches. It's a song in Goodfellas. That's it's good. It's a Goodfellas soundtrack. Goodfellas. Really, so. 
you see, we do have a lot of candidates for album of the week. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm sticking with a classic. The Foundation by Zach Brown Band. Oh. Okay. Nice. I think it's got chicken fried. That's a good pick. Whatever it is. Highway 20 ride. It's stacked. Good pick. Good pick. Well, I mean, Timmy, you've got to gra- gra- hey? you graduate, brother. Yeah, I am. Brendan, are you still a junior? I'm a rising senior. All right. I cannot wait to get rid of you two. I'm <laughs> <laughs> You're next, buddy. Old fart. All right. Well, with that, I think we can start wrapping up here. Brendan, Brendan joined for the most important segment of the show. Mm-hmm. Said at least four words, and that's all we could ask. <laughs> hey. Sorry, man. I mean, it's all, it's all you need. All right. Well, Timmy, is there anything else we need to say? Uh, other than keep on honking, I don't think there is anything else uh, to do. So. Thank you everybody for listening. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And we will see you all in the next one. Keep on honking. Toot, toot.